All right, Duke Nukem 64. Episode two, level eight, Dark Side. And this is where things get a little bit different. Yeah, it probably did. Let's see how much armor I do have. Oh, never mind. I don't have such things. And you come with me. And for fun, I could do this. And in case you were expecting a open, kind of an epic entrance to a moon base, preparing for a shock. It's nothing like the PC version. The open area that you had in the PC version. Instead, we have a simplistic hallway, but at least there are some recognizable parts still. Well, I sure know where to find these, at least. And of course, here we have a missile launcher and another armor, which is kind of strange to have two armor pickups so close to each other. And you might wonder where the hell's the blue door at? Well, guess what? There's no such, such thing in this map. Instead, you get this lift and... Uh, at this point you would probably, you know, think about going to Gamma Transport and all that, but, well, what if I told you that no such things exist in this version and yet another armor? How many armor bonuses? Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, oh yeah, armor bonuses. Armor bonuses are from Doom, but you get the idea. I mean, three armors. Jesus. This is not really that difficult. But, there were some other changes as well. Hmm, I'll spare those for later. And this secret has been removed, so uh, you won't be finding any, um, you know, devastator weapons or anything like that. Alright guys, I need to, you know, inspect your tickets, and uh, it, it appears that, you know, you guys didn't fare so well. Or, yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, me and my extremely awesome humor again. So, let's take the train. At least some kind of uh, moving sectors do exist in this game. In form, at least in case of form of... In, in form of two-way trains. Alright, enough is enough. Let's get a full clip. And as usual, there are the trip mines. And this is probably the only instance, or the f uh, one of the few instances of Earthquake being used in this game. That should kill them at least. And of course, SMGs can be found from here. And of course, then there's that atomic health, but I will spare that for later. And here it's the usual horde of assault troopers. Nothing too serious. And some pipe bombs too. I will spare those for later. And I think there were, might have been actually a... Let's see if I already took it. Uh, never mind, I think it's actually a multiplayer exclusive one. Because I re remember that this place used to have an expander crystal. Um, at least when you were playing on co-op. But let's take this secret. And some scrambled eggs. Kinda like that. 
and I actually took surprisingly much damage. I actually didn't realize that. Okay, let's dive down here, and we'll get some assault troopers. Time to die. And of course, then there's that trip mine. And we might add some some of our own. Uh, that was interesting, because there will be an ambush coming up later, featuring uh, protect a protector drone and an, an enforcer. Alright, that's all. Did I get the shrinker? I think I did. Yeah. And it's the meat factory. Let's get those pipe bombs. Ouch! It was a little bit too close. I think they died. Uh, thanks. I guess? And actually, if you play on Dam, I'm good. That pig cop is alive. <laughs> so, kind of interesting. Alright, so, uh, there's this obvious, Captain Obvious, uh, you know, Slimer ambush coming up. So, for sake of my aiming skills, I will use uh, Plasma Cannon to get rid of them as fast as I can. Please? Do I really have to? Yes, I do. I'll be just kicking just to play it safe. Or maybe I won't be. <laughs> uh, because I don't want any grenade launcher accidents or anything like that. And then there's this atomic health, and I think there might be yet another armor. So, and of course, the ladies need to be saved. And from here you can find some uh, SMG ammo. Oh, you did survive. I'm impressed. And... You guys need to die. Hmm, I'll spare that for later. Because I will most likely do that final hoarding thing again, so... And some plasma, just just in case. But yeah, that plasma cannon is pretty good against those slimers. It's really good. You don't really have to aim that much. It's, it's just... Holy crap, I totally forget about that commander. Uh, this... This guy is actually exclusive to this version, so... Now that we have the yellow key, we must proceed straight to beta transport. So, we don't have gamma transport in this at all. So, you don't get to blow any reactors or anything like that. Let's use that one. And of course, then there's that secret as well. I actually missed it. I will go back to it shortly. Hey guys, let me through. Alright, and then there's that lone assault trooper. And here we can find those two atomic healths, but I will spare those for later. Or actually, I might not. And you might might want to use a jetpack to kind of soften the landing a little bit. Because by default, uh, you will take damage uh, when you fall down, fall from there. And there's no other way to return from that secret. And yet another armor. Jesus Christ, how many? What the hell? I thought he died already. I 
anybody else. And this map in particular has a ton of ladies to be saved, so... Oh, you guys died already? Cool. It is. Now it's time to... Take a big leap. How's it going, guys? <laughs> hey, Central Drones, follow me. Uh, first, I must kill those guys. I don't want those guys to, you know, ruin the fun. Could you guys punch up a little bit? Finally over. Took some time, but that's what happens when you don't use auto aim. And now it's time to take this tower. Well, that didn't quite work out. No! Where did he go? Uh, I don't want that. And now this force field is removed. Where did that guy go? Oh, there he is. And then there's that guy. This way. And just like that, he died. And some pipe bombs. And this section is shortened as well. Oh man. It's a little bit too close. Let's get those missiles. And as I said, this section is shortened quite significantly, so we don't get to enjoy those, you know, awesome sector based shadows, sloped shadows and all that, so we just have to go straight in and all that, so let's put on those night vision goggles. And just like that, they all died. And let's go in here. And of course, then there's the secret nuke button. And some explosive shotgun shells. Don't forget to save the ladies, and we still have some ladies to be s ladies to save as well. And in here we got these octo brains. And yeah, you heard that. Well, might as well do that. And I think there should be another one. I think he... Sometimes he might go underwater, so I think he might be in there. Yeah, exactly. Holy shit. Whoa, man. Yeah, it's... I, I hate it how this game treats uh, these... You know, when you get these translucent explosions and those fancy effects, they kind of obscure the enemies. I hate it when that happens. Wow, he sure took a lot of beating. Of course, I should have known that, but... 
but still. And now I will do that final hoarding thing, and also I have one secret remaining, and that secret would be quite close to the beginning of the level. So I will go back now, and make sure I have all the goodies. I think I probably won't be getting too many shells anymore. And the secret that I missed was... This one. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, of course, I, I think there actually might be still that pistol that I left here. Um, or actually, no. Yeah. It looks pretty good, so... Might as well leave now, so... We will take the secret new button as usual. And it would take us to episode 2, level 11. Ludzik Fringe. Alright, let's see if the ammo counts. Yeah, I kinda like that. And that's dark side for ya. What the? Oh. But yeah, <laughs> that's that's how Darkseid went. <clears throat> it was a lot different than the, the PC version because the Gamma Transport section was cut entirely, and so so it's a little bit. It reminds me a little bit of PlayStation Doom uh, to some extent because in case of PlayStation Doom, they you know cut down a lot of the level you know areas from various different levels and all that. But uh, this is. Probably, after all, it's. I mean, Dark Side was one of the bigger levels, and one of the biggest levels of Duke Nukem 3D, and uh, all that. So, it, in if you look at it that way, it might have exceeded some limitations, but so they just probably saw it fit to remove the Gamma Transport section entirely and remove the outdoor area leading to Gamma Transport, but. I think, in a way, it's a bit of a shame, because Darkseid is... It's always one of my favorite Duke Nukem 3D levels, if not the most favorite. Because I really love it. It is just... It's... It's different, and it's lengthy, um, and... Yeah, well, it's Darkseid. But, yeah. Also, the Lunar Canyon section was cut, uh, because, don't know why, but mm, just pure speculation again, but, but I think it might also be because of the very same reasons, possibly, uh, that might be related to, you know, some restrictions being, you know, exceeded and all that, it's just pure speculation. But the Lunar Canyon section was shortened significantly, so there was basically a box of pipe bombs, and then there was a mini battle lord and two commanders. So basically, they just removed the entire canyon area and just copy pasted that crack section that takes you to that monolith area. So they just, you know, cut the, cut the canyon and just copy pasted that, you know, area where the crack is located. And, you know, that's how they did it. But yeah, that's how Nintendo 64 version went. Oh yeah, of course, and then there was that, uh, Lone Responding Commander that um, responds uh, at the main hub when you grab the yellow key. But yeah, with that we're all done, so next time we will take a look at um, the only secret level of the sep second episode, uh, which in this case would be 
learned the French. So, but yeah, with that, we're all done. So, thanks for the company, and I'll see you around.